Before we get to Saudi Arabia, I want to address the uh, appendix in the room. <laughs> That oh, man. was formerly belonging to Carlos Sainz. Um, also, would really love if people could understand that, like, slightly feeling ill or, like, semi under the weather does not equal appendicitis. <laughs> A se- yeah. Appendicitis is you're dying and you're going to the hospital and getting surgery. So I just want to, like, back up because I picked Carlos to land on the podium because he's like, oh, I'm feeling slightly ill. Oh, I'm feeling a little under the weather. Oh, I'm leaving and getting emergency surgery to take my appendix out. Like, drastically different. Would not have put him on my podium. But it's fine. I'm not mad. Um, but, like, can can we talk about the fact that everything surrounding the Carlos signs portion of this weekend has just been absolutely absurd and like like drivers get sick but they still you know they still try to do what they can that that's totally whatever and these are all also like freaks of nature in as athletes so of course they're like I personally my pain tolerance is is not normal compared to most people I I can tolerate a lot of pain so I can only imagine what type of pain and discomfort these formula one drivers can um can can you know deal with and then the fact that you know he's the second driver in three seasons to go down with appendicitis this happened to Alex Albon in 2022 um so the fact that he was able to get through not one but two whole practice sessions and then didn't actually go to the hospital until Friday at 11 30 just hours like five hours ahead of of FP3 is bananas to me when he was racing like or practicing for FP1 and FP2, he had, like, an insane fever. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm... I go wanna, home! I, wanna, I... Well, I... There, there's a lot of, like, please please go home in, in all of this. I just wanted to see where where. Oh, like, when finished. he went to the track, like, against yeah. orders from his doctors, and he looked so unwell and so crippled. I'm like, Carlos, we're a shell of you human right now. Please go home. Yeah, and, like, I get it. You love the sport and everything, but you should not be standing up in the garage in the middle of the race. You should be, like, sitting in a hospitality suite in a corner with your feet and up. you know, I'm just going to say it. I think that came from his PR team, not him, because he did not look like he wanted to be No, there. he, he it's didn't. Like a, he, let's show, you know, good faith that we're alive and we're doing well. And let's go to the track. And as he's, but like, we don't slowly. need to do that and but but also like freak of nature he finished p6 in fp1 and p7 in fp2 with with an ap- appendix that was about to explode <laughs> and that's why he's going to you know beat the crap out of charles this year because he's so great it does suck that he didn't get any points this weekend especially if they're gonna be close all season yeah but you know charles will do charles things and probably hurt himself at some point in the points so maybe carlos can come back but we're all pulling for team carlos hoping he's making a speedy recovery really want to see him come back for australia i know that's what they're aiming for yeah Um, which is it's it'll it'll be tight but i mean alex albon had 20 days between surgery and in his return in 2022 um he he was out of monza he did also have complications and i'm shocked that he raced of all races in singapore you know three weeks after major surgery um fortunately obviously carlos did not have any um major um complications because he was out the door and at the race against doctor recommendations i would like to emphasize again doctor recommendations oh um but clearly he was hopped up on the good drugs because his statement was one of the funniest things <laughs> i've ever seen but i also like, think it's just carlos like he has a great sense of humor and he like yeah. is you know always joking and lighthearted and yeah, yeah underwent yeah. a smooth, smooth operation, operation today and i'm feeling much better like i ha- i have it just saved on my phone um it's and so good. and calling charles lord percival <laughs> which i know is a nickname of his yeah. but just like everything about that was so funny and then him and his dad taking that photo um recreating his dad's his photo out. like yep. all of it is just like carlos is such a too. goof Alvon being like, hey, Carlos, I got a good doctor for you if you need it. (laughs) Alex, you almost died. Oh, my God. I know. It's so funny. But, yeah, Yeah. again, just hoping that he has a speedy recovery. And that he, like, actually takes some time to, to, like, 
actually recover. I know. I, yeah, I don't know. He'll probably be back in Australia. No, I, 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 I feel like he could take another week. 